Hello and welcome to Kirby SQL Talk. Today we're here to talk about Azure Data Lake Analytics. Now we're going to take a step back and talk about different ways that we can analyze big data in Azure. So we can use the traditional approach of uh, creating a lot of virtual machines and installing an, a Hadoop distribution like Hortonworks on those. And that will do great uh, work for us analyzing our large data or many different files spread across the many different nodes but we're in the business of managing VMs at that point and there's a certain amount of care and feeding that goes along with that and patching and, and worrying about all the different servers you need to take care of so uh, we have a second option and that's an, uh, creating an HD insight uh, uh, cluster and it's very easy to set up you don't really have to know much about Hadoop to set it up and it's going to create your worker nodes and your head nodes, and you can uh, still run uh, all your traditional uh, um, analytics uh, utilities on that, and that can do a great job for you too. But we have an alternative, and that's called Data Lake Analytics. And um, in order to help illustrate uh, exactly what Data Lake Analytics is, I'm going to use an analogy. And I, and I realize that all analogies eventually break down, but, but just humor me with this one. So on the far left, a virtual machine, it's like a car. You get a car when you need to get somewhere. Let's just say in a workflow kind of way of thinking, the input is you, uh, the method you're using is a car, and then the output is you getting to where you want to go. So moving over to HD Insight, you might want to think of that, uh, carrying uh, on with this analogy, is using a rideshare app. Uh, the input is you. You want to be able to get somewhere. The method is grabbing your smartphone and using an app uh, to get a car to come to you. The car picks you up, drops you off. The output is you getting to your location. So that's great. You don't have to think about the car. You don't have to think about the maintenance on the car, anything like that. Okay, so to bring this analogy to a close, I see data lake analytics, this big data as a service, as so simple to use in its push button manner that it's like a transporter. Now, if you don't know what a transporter is, you need to go back and watch some old episodes of Star Trek. A transporter was a machine that was used to transport people from one location to another with a push of a button. Remember, Captain Kirk would say, uh, uh, energize. And then the people would go from uh, where they started to where they needed to go. So very easy to do. And um, here's a screenshot of what it would look like uh, as a job setup in uh, Azure Data Lake Analytics. It's really easy to start up this service, to scale instantly to the size uh, of a service that you need, and then you simply pay by the job. So let's demonstrate how you would quickly set up an Azure Data Lake Analytics service. So we're going to go out to Azure and click the create a new service uh, plus button and we're going to look under the category of data and analytics and then scroll down to data lake analytics now this will create uh, both the analytics and if we want it to the storage at the same time so click a data lake analytics next you're going to put in the name of your uh, server and that has to be unique uh, give it a resource group name that's just a, an easy way to be able to group resources and then under Data Lake Store, this is something we need to pay attention to. Uh, we're going to create a new store, and we have some options when we do that. We can choose to just pay as you go. And if you're just getting started, this might be a way you want to go. You can also uh, prepay for storage, and you really get a good discount when you do that. But initially, let's just say uh, pay as you go. So we'll click OK on that. And so that is uh, going to create your storage in the background. Now. This, the last thing we need to pick is our pricing tier, and this has to do with our jobs that we're going to run. So we're just going to pick pay as you go. Uh, but once again, you can get a really good discount uh, by uh, picking a monthly plan. Now, AU is an analytical unit, and we'll go into that more later. But we're just going to pick pay as you go, and then you just click create like that. Okay, I already had a data lake analytics set up, so let's jump in there. Here we are in our Azure portal. I'll click on this. And the first thing I want to point you at is the data explorer. Let's say you wanted to get data into your, your newly created data store. You just click data explorer, and then it's going to show you what your data you may have in there already. 
and then you could simply click upload to upload some more data you could also use things like Azure Data Factory uh, but uh, for right now let, let's now look at jobs so we're gonna go to sample scripts uh, and this is gonna show us how to set up a job because this is really where the magic happens now I know I set the bar high we talked about the Star Trek transporter and how easy it is so let's pick a this sample script called populate table I've already done some of these other steps now what you're looking at here in the job window is uSQL and uSQL is a combination of SQL and C sharp and up here we have a variable this is called a row set and we're extracting some information from a flat file here using an extractor we're, we're doing what what some people would call schema on read um, uh, during this extract we're defining the different fields in there and then we're inserting it into a table now we talked about not really worrying about you know the back end and, and what it takes to scale and this is how you do that a, a transporter you just say energize or hit a button and it happens well here you use this slider here and you can pick how many analytical units you want each analytical unit in Azure Data Lake is equivalent of some cores of processing and some memory and and Azure looks at your job and it breaks it up into different vertices and each one of those vertices is a chunk of work but suffice it to say that if you want to run that in parallel and you want to throw more horsepower at that you just simply grab the slider and slide it to the right and let's say we're going to pick 20 in this situation and that brings our cost up but it also means the job is going to finish much quicker now you may ask well how do I know the optimal setting well in a, in a future video I'll show you Visual Studio and that has a rich debugger and job modeler it'll actually model your jobs for you and show you the optimal AU setting so that you're not spending too much money on these jobs so it's a really great thing so but let's just go ahead and submit this job and let it run and then you're going to be uh, you, you'll see this this graph here uh, and this will uh, display here in a minute but as the job goes along it'll show you exactly what's happening now I already have uh, run this job so let's go back here and look at view all jobs and we'll scroll down to that job it's called uh, populate table and that uh, completed successfully but look at the graph data we have here this shows us I talked about the different vertices that it creates so this one has two vertices this has one vertice one vertex here um, and then um, it, if, if there was a lot of work to do uh, then it would have many different vertices in each one of these and this SV just stands for uh, super vertex um, so this is showing you the progress of the job what happened everything's green the flow of the data is great but you can change the, the, the view and you can actually uh, view it from a time perspective to see which one, which portion of your job took the most amount of time. Or you can also see, you know, which portion of the job did the most reads. And, and you also have this ability to hear, and this isn't just a recording, it actually plays back the processing of the job. So it's very easy for you to look at your job to see what it did with this data. Uh, once again, Visual Studio gives you even more power to be able to analyze your jobs. So this has been just a really uh, quick way to uh, look at Azure Data Lake and how, uh, show you how, how easy it is to deal with big data. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, please come back for more.